Max, one final mineral that we haven't spoken about today is manganese. Manganese is one that uh, we sometimes see on multi-mineral formulas, but I don't think most people know very much about it. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I think that that's really the truth. Manganese, you know, it sounds like magnesium almost, right. and people don't talk about, oh, I, I need to take my manganese. It's just not, not spoken about. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it's probably because people have no idea what manganese is uh, useful for. Uh, manganese is actually a very, very important trace mineral, and it's involved in a, a number of important functions in the human body. And I could name a, a few of them very easily. Uh, number one, manganese is a metal or mineral that is a critical uh, factor uh, in the formation of cartilage in spinal discs, mm -hmm. things such as that, mm -hmm. connective tissue. Uh, it's uh, you know, part of the chemical reaction that knits together the connective tissue. Uh, you hear of people taking glucosamine for arthritics, but if they don't have manganese, that glucosamine doesn't get utilized to form mm -hmm. your connective tissue mm -hmm. that you're trying to use the glucosamine for. So manganese is, is important there, but not only that, manganese is uh, important for some of your antioxidant functions. Manganese goes to form manganese uh, SOD, and it's a, a present in high concentrations in places like your, your white cells that help fight against infections and things like that. Mm -hmm. So manganese is actually an antioxidant mineral as well. Mm -hmm. So it's got a number of very key functions. The uh, thing about manganese is that you can get by in terms of a minimal amount with two to five milligrams, so it doesn't require a lot. But then you talk to people who have connective tissue problems or people who are into certain types of uh, athletic uh, functions, you know, weightlifting.